Could you introduce yourself and talk about your current position in Sheffield? Sure. Hi, um, I'm Princia, and I came to Sheffield last year in September to do my master's in physiotherapy. I had done my undergraduate in physiotherapy in India, but uh, my home country is in Bahrain because that's where I was born and raised up. So that's a bit of my background. How has studying abroad developed skills which can make you more employable? Well, studying abroad has given me many other skills apart from, this, apart from the course that I'm doing currently, such as communication skills, networking, building up contacts, or um, important skills such as punctuality and time management. So all these skills are very crucial when entering into the professional world, and things function differently in different countries. For example, some of the transferable skills, such as um, communication or um, organizational skills that I developed here in England, um, I wouldn't have the exact same opportunities for the development of these skills back in my home country. So now when I enter into professional field, I feel more ready and I feel more equipped, uh, not just at a professional level, but um, even at an administrative level. What would be a straightforward contrast between somebody who hasn't experienced international learning and yourself? Uh, I think first off, the very fact that I, I got to travel all the way till here and do my master's in a completely different setting, in a completely different country and culture, that itself uh, makes me distinct from somebody who is, hasn't had that opportunity. Uh, so a straightforward contrast would be um, the lack of exposure. Uh, also, I think a lack of opportunity because uh, coming to a different country itself has, will open many doors for me because now it makes me culturally competent. Um, it also makes me um, develop skills that are, that are very specific to this country and can be um, gained only from this country. Uh, so. I think I would have more opportunities um, and better understanding of concepts such as autonomy and empowerment um, just because I've seen it and um, I've been able to put it into practice than somebody uh, who has not had the opportunity. Do you believe that from studying in different countries you are now more employable? Definitely. I definitely believe that. Um, I'm in a profession where we deal with people from different places. Um, from different countries, from different nations, from different religions. From It's all about the people. It's about the community. And the more you know about them, it's easier to relate to them, to um, offer them something that's worthwhile and that's valuable. Now, being, being able to travel to different countries, it puts me in a position where I can understand them better. And if, now, if I now have a patient from the Middle East, um, I can strike a conversation which is relevant to them and I can um, develop a good therapeutic relationship with them. Uh, if I have, if I have a patient, uh, not just from England, but any of the Western countries, uh, I can, I'm in a position where I can um, strike a conversation that interests them and definitely being able to study in, in my own home country puts me an advantage to, um, to be always related to it and to know my roots. So I'm just, I think I'm, I'm just privileged to uh, move around so much and to gain from different countries so that uh, I can always expand my knowledge and my um, exposure. What do you suggest to students in the UK to study in a different country? Definitely, if not studying in different countries, definitely exploring to um, work in different countries or to volunteer in different countries because uh, there's so much to learn from each other. There's so much to uh, appreciate and value. Uh, when we move into a different country, we not only appreciate what we're receiving from that country, but we also appreciate some of the things that we have in our own country as well. And that's not possible unless and until you have moved across and known different things. Um, and as we move between cultures and between countries, we do pick up things, um, and then that makes us a person that helps in our personality development on a whole, uh, which is not possible if you are stagnant or constant in one place.